for fastest and cheapest Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, EasyMutt.com. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, It's Venom Fire here, back in the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to torch cover two for a one play touchdown every time. And it can literally come to you out of any formation in the game. That's what's so great about this tip I'm going to show with you guys. I'm going to show this play, this quote unquote play, out of three different formations. And it's just going to absolutely destroy cover two every time. You can literally run it out of any formation. And all you're going to need is a deep post. And deep post you can do is one out of PA post cross shot, uh, one just, just a super deep post down the field. Another one I'm going to show you guys out of PA cross shot. You guys see another deep post. And then the last one I'll show you guys just out of wide trips. It's going to be PA zone shot. Now, uh, I like to run it out of more spread concepts. I know there's one in I form close in Raiders playbook. That is very good as well. But like I said, I'm just going to start out PA post cross shot. Uh, just put like your fast receiver on the left if you want. So I'll just move um, Will Fuller there. I could just leave Hopkins there for that better route running with the post specialist. But... Um, I'm fine with running with, with Will Fuller. All you need is like a fast receiver right there. Let's go ahead, come out in it. And you want to run your trips on the on the wide side of the field. You want your post on the short side of the field. So let's just come out in a classic cover two. You guys see, just make sure these three, your deep post is on the wide side. I'm uh, pretty sure I can mismatch those, but all that you're gonna do for the setup is max pro. You're gonna have to max pro because look how long this route is. It's very deep down the field. You're gonna need a lot of time to make this route. So definitely block seven out of any set. And then all you're gonna do is put B on a smart, or what's it called, a smoke screen. Put him on a smoke screen and then you can put RB on like a drag. That's usually what I do. You just want something that'll bait his user down. I usually stick with the drags. Um, even if he hesitates for a little, he's not going to be able to get back and completely defend that deep post. So what I'm also going to do is slide to the right, which is the side we're going to be rolling out to. I'm going to double team this D end. Um, if he does user it, you could put A on a delay fade if you want. For this, I'll just block him. And boom, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and snap the ball right there. We're going to go ahead and roll out all the way to the right and then just pass lead all the way on the right side. You guys see Will Four absolutely wide open against cover two and i'll show you guys again there but if you were paying attention it looks like the strong safety was there to defend it but then at the last second right before i released that football you guys seen that adrian amos actually ditched the play he went off to defend something else and we were able to throw that over the top of the defense there's not really a chance that the free safety could have played that just pass lead to the right and with a fast enough receiver there's nothing to worry about so again just put B on a smoke screen, right bumper on a drag. This obviously depends on the formation, but um, just in a trip set. Maybe if you're in like a doubles, you could still run something like this. Um, if you have the post on the trip side, you can maybe motion a receiver over and then put him on the drag, which I will show you out of this Trey Y flex later in the video. But the basic setup is a, just out of a wide trips type set. RB on a drag, B on a smoke screen. Go ahead, snap that ball again. Holy crap, we just got screamed at. Boom, roll out, passing to the right. No way that the free safety can make a play on that. No way that the strong safety can. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the instant replay, why it works so well. Let's go ahead, hop into that. Now, when you're watching the replay, I want you to watch Adrian Amos. He's just going to be chilling there. He's playing his classic zone. You got the smart, the smoke screen, the drag. For some reason, like I'm not sure what route it is, but he's sort of just gonna fall down. It doesn't work if you don't have the smoke screen. But boom, look, he's about to cover it. You guys see, he's in perfect position right when Will Four sort of makes his cut. He's gonna break down, and um, it's not just the specific post route because, like I said, it works out of other forms. But you guys see, free safety, he's not gonna be able to play that. Darnell Savage is one of the fastest free safeties in the games. Uh, if you have a 99 speed receiver, which you all should have in Mutt at this point in the year, then it's absolutely going to torch. One last time out of this wide trips. Basic setup. Snap the football. Um, again, that number 94 is absolutely killing us. Jeez. Somehow, he just got touched by four people. Pause, and he didn't block anybody, but set it up again real quick. Oh, shoot, I forgot to slide to the right. There we go. We got the protection. Release the ball. Even you guys see I'm under pressure. I'm still sort of sitting in the pocket. I didn't get... All the way outside of the pocket there. I was still able to make that pass accurately. 
and still get the one play touchdown. All you need is a little bit of throwing room and you will be able to make that pass. So again, let's go ahead, hop into our next formation. It's going to be the Trey Y flex, which is in almost every playbook. Trey Y flex or trips tight end flex. They're both pretty much the exact same and they both have this PA cross shot. Now, like I said, you want your deep post on this wide side, come out in that. And you guys see, it's going to be a way different setup um, but all you have to do is build around that one route. It's going to be the deep post with Fuller. Again, this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put A on a drag, and then I'm going to go ahead and motion B over from left to right. I'm going to be putting B on our smoke screen right there. And what I like to do is just so that Y and X aren't compressed, I might just put Y on an out route. I could put them on a hitch route. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's unfortunate that you can't block 7 in this set, but you kind of have to motion them over and it's just going to give them a different look uh if, if you know that your opponent is sending seven this isn't the one i would use i would use the other one but when you actually motion that player over it gives x the sort of free release where you these guys are in a cluster and it definitely can't help out the play and again let's go ahead and snap the ball roll out right throw it pass lead to the right and you guys see this one it's a little bit different it seems like it's a little bit more of a difficult throw and it is but it's out of a way better formation uh, Trey White Flex has Dagger, there's a lot to, of other plays that you can run out of this to open up this play, and out of wide trips, there's not too many good plays in the game. So again, I'm putting A on a drag, B on a hitch. Now if you want, you, uh, you can actually smart out X, I'll actually show you. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if you can, but I just haven't tried it, I don't think you can. For some reason, I just don't double team that player, but boom, yeah, you guys see, you can't smart out X because he just gets covered. Oh wait, I think I actually might have kept B on a hitch there. Let's see. That might have been my fault. I think I actually did have him on a hitch, which might have been the reason it didn't work. Let's try it again. Uh, with X smart routed, like I said, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. I'm just going to try it out real quick. Snap the ball. For some reason, my players just aren't double teaming. I'm not sure what that is about. But yeah, you guys see it's not open. So you definitely don't want to smart out. You want as deep of a post as you can get. It just opens it up more and it actually works. So I'll show it one last time out of Trey Y Flex. And then we'll go ahead, hop into our next formation, A on a drag, B on a smoke screen, Y. I usually just leave them on an out route. And for whatever reason, it's not actually letting me double team this player. It's not letting me get this chop block. Who knows why EA Sports is in the game. But roll out, pass lead to the right. You guys see, we do get an inaccurate throw, but this is where Dashing Deadeye, Roaming Deadeye are definitely going to be your friends. Um, you guys can tell that it would have been open as it was the first time we threw it. But yeah, definitely recommend getting dashing, roaming dead eyes so that you do get an accurate throw. Roaming dead eye would be better than dashing in this case, just in case there is pressure. But you guys get the gist. And since you guys might only think it works, oh, it only works out of gun. You can't work out of single back. Let's hop into this wide trips. Um, it could probably also work out of PA corner post. I think it does. Uh, like, like I said, just find any formation with the deep post. Um, like I said, it doesn't work out of tight formations. Um, so this one, I would say it would work out to be post dig shot, but as that sort of double move, which is unfortunate. But like I said, just find any formation, PA cross, maybe you motion that player out. Uh, like I said, it's very difficult to run out of tight sets though. Let's go ahead, hop into this PA Y cross shot. Again, stock cover two. This one, again, it's the exact same as the gun Y trips, just in single back. And this post route actually might be a little bit deeper, which can help us a little bit. So again, RB on a drag, B on a smoke screen. Here we actually have Hopkins, so it's going to be a slower receiver. I forgot to change that. Roll out. And you guys see, this one is opened up way more than the other one. So that, like I said, the deeper the post, the better. And I think if you have route tech or route apprentice, slot apprentice, receiver apprentice, whatever you want to call it, you can actually put these players on a post and it'll be pretty deep. I'm not sure if it works. I would have to go, go in the lab and try that. But I think if you have like Route Apprentice, you have this guy on the outside, you put him on a post, it might be deep enough for this concept to work out of any form. So again, look how basic the setup is. I double team, I slide to the right, I can easily step up, I can sit in the pocket or I can roll out, boom. Look how much space that is. Adrian Amos comes down all the way. It's almost like he doesn't even recognize the post route. You guys see Hopkins just absolutely get wide open. Here I'm going to see if I can sit in the pocket and get it to work. Be on a drag or RB on a drag. Be on a smart or smoke screen. I always confuse those. But double team this players. Here I'm going to sit in the pocket. We get screamed at unfortunately. 
but actually you guys see he sort of breaked off and we still can get that over the top i know if he clicked on it would have been a pick but that's why you want to scramble out to the outside because if they do have d-line cams you're gonna get absolutely screamed at uh let's see if we can get it to work here double team try to get this chop block unfortunately i can't please don't scream at me i got screamed at but boom you guys see even in the worst conditions i'm able to complete that pass worst case scenario i got screamed at from the pocket but yeah you really want a mobile quarterback for this play to work at its maximum potential just make sure all you need is that the post route's right and the hash mark is right you guys cannot throw this from the other hash mark i'll go ahead and show that real quick just to show it that it does not work if you're on the wide side at least i think um but I know that it definitely works better from that right side of the field, especially if you have a right-hand quarterback, vice versa, if you're running Michael Vick. Here's the same play, just from the other side of the field. Go ahead, run it. We get screamed at. You guys see Amos isn't going to fall down, and just like that, we get picked off. So very important that you pay attention to what side of the field you're on, what side your post is on, and all that jazz. But if you guys enjoyed this very helpful tip. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for some more Fire Madden 20 content in the future. Follow me on Twitter for more updates around my channel. Link will be in the description to that. And peace. I'm out of here.